So I am starting to go through some of my old toys from the 80s and 90s. Kind of curious to see if they're worth anything. Not that I'll necessarily sell them or put them on eBay, but just kind of out of curiosity. And then if I ever decide to sell them, kind of see how much they're worth. So I'm gonna show you what I have. I'm gonna start with my Polly Pocket collection, go through and I'll show you how I came up with their value. And we'll see what the final total is at the end of the video. To determine the value of my figures, I went over to eBay, and of course I searched for all the different Polly Pockets that I have, but what I did, and I'm showing you right now, is I limited the items to things that have already sold and priced them from there, because as we all know, you can list things for however much you want, but that doesn't mean that someone's going to pay. So I went ahead and I, just saw what people have bought these items for and then i took a high price and a low price and then added up all of the sold listings that i could for an average to kind of give you that total okay so let's take a closer look at my poly pocket collection and see how much it's worth Okay, so the first thing you might notice is that the house and the roof are this lovely yellowish brown color, which is not what they're supposed to look like. I'll put a picture up of what the original house is supposed to look like. It's a lot more colorful and cheerful, not this. So my guess, and especially after looking at some eBay listings, is that this is sun damage, which I'll see a couple more have succumbed to that sun damage. It's also missing, there's supposed to be a pine tree right there up front that has long since gone missing. The rest of it looks pretty good. Um, of course, these parts are attached, so those can't go loose. We have a nice sled and some skis. And then inside, I'll get a closer look. There's the fireplace right there there. We have all the little furniture, little eating area, some boots, a dog bowl, and then the ladder to go upstairs to the little bedroom area. This is pretty clever. You just kind of put that back and then you can tuck your poly into bed. And then there's a sink in the little vanity. And that is the ski chalet. I was able to find one listing of a sun damaged ski chalet and that sold for $9. So that is what I'm going to set the value of this as. Okay, so I did have the three figures inside. The first one, I believe her name is Lulu. She is unfortunately missing her arm. Um, she lost that somewhere along the way. So I did not include her in the value of the set because I couldn't find one that is also missing an arm, but she was in there. Now, for these other little figures that were completely intact, I went ahead and priced those separately because um, I saw some listings for it. So the listing I found for another Sun Damage Ski Chalet only had the set and not the pieces. So I figured it would make sense to kind of um, price these separately. And this is Polly. There she is in her lovely white ski suit and pink boots. She still looks pretty good. The paint is not too chipped, which is pretty impressive. For Polly, I found a low price of $4.99, a high price of $11, and after I totaled everything up, the average was $7.99. And this is Benji, the little St. Bernard that also goes with the set. You can see he's kind of orange, almost like the sun damaged portion of the house, but it looks like it's the way he was supposed to look. And he has this little barrel on his neck for some brandy um, or some hot chocolate there if you're not into brandy. So there is Benji. And for Benji, I found a high price of $14.99, a low price of $8.10, 
and an average of $11.29. All right, so Polly's Country House is a very fun little set. Now, once again, just like the ski chalet, you'll see that all of the main building is this lovely orangey brown color, which is not what it's supposed to look like. Oh, look at that little cat on the roof. That is pretty adorable. Yes, so I will post a picture of what it's supposed to look like. So once again, it has been a victim of sun damage, probably because it's been sitting in a dusty attic without any protection for uh, 30 or so years. But the rest of it looks pretty good. The, the sticker of the pond is a little faded, but the tree is still intact. Purple door is still nice and bright, but let's take a look inside. That might look a little nicer. All right, so this is a pretty spacious little house. We have a little seating area right here, a couch, a rug. I'm impressed that they actually have doors, although I won't try to force these open. I think with time they've gotten a little stuck. There is the bathroom, which looks like it could use a scrubbing, and the kitchen. Very nice. There's a coffee maker in the back, which I appreciate and a nice big set of stairs that goes into the second story. There's a little vanity area over here and a very fun detail. Look at that little closet, that's adorable. And then if I can swing this around, see a nice 90s stereo system, big thick 90s TV and corded phone. And then a fun detail. This is a little light that actually lights up. I'll show you how that works. Unfortunately, I don't have the right battery for it, so it won't actually light up, but we can pretend that that is lighting up. And then a little surprise. Wow, a third story. This is Polly's little bedroom. So there's her little bed and her vanity. And then of course, a little bathroom which is always nice i love the turquoise tub and then the detail of the little bat mat right bath mat right there and then this is where you would press you might be able to hear the yeah it's pretty loud little click so if the battery was in there that light from the second story would light up battery compartment is down at the bottom here you can see it's yellow so it stands out and then you have to unscrew it but I wish I had a battery for it but I just don't so there is Polly's country house sadly I couldn't find an item that is sold that was sun damaged so I am setting the value of this one at zero dollars so kind of like with the ski chalet, I did have all three figures for the country house inside and they were in pretty good shape. So since the country house itself was kind of a wash because of the sun damage, I'm gonna price each of these figures individually and see how much they might be worth. Okay, so first up is Jessica. She has a very cute little red bob and balloons, all blue outfit, nice dress and shoes. I was able to find one sold listing for this one and that was for $12.99. Then there was Emily with her little party, her noise maker right here. Yellow dress, purple shoes, very cool. Uh, Bob with the bangs and the party hat. For Emily, I found a low price of $11.75, a high price of $12, and an average of $11.80. And then, of course, Polly herself. She is all decked out for her party. I love the gold accessories, purple dress. She's got a big smile on her face. There is Polly. For Polly, I found a low price of $5.99, a 
a high price of $10.99 and an average of $8.41. All right, Polly's Cozy Cottage, and it does look very cozy, although it also looks very sun damaged. Yes, once again, I will post a picture of what it is supposed to look like. But right now, yellow and brown, although the roof has stayed a nice purple color, which is surprising. I think some of the other, especially the ski chalet, that roof did not keep its color, but this one did. So let's look at the front, and there is some mail in her mailbox, a very cute touch. Again, I'm not gonna force that open, but the gate does swing when it isn't 30 years old. There are some roses along the path right here. Let's open it up. Okay, all right, so we have, oh, there's our, little friend on the rug by the fireplace. Again, we have to have the big corded phone, the couch right in front, sorry, the angle. There's the television. And then the steps, love the wallpaper. Seems like something I would have loved to have in my room at the time. And then the bedroom upstairs is all set up for a sleepover. So we have the two sleeping bags. There's a nice boom box, dresser, and then another bed right up there. Oh, look, a Walkman too. Very cool. Somebody was reading a book as well. So nice and cozy little house. Too bad it's sun damaged. Sun damage strikes again. I wasn't able to find any sun damage sold listings, so this one has a value of zero dollars. Okay, so there was one figure inside the cozy cottage. There was no Polly, but there was a Midge. Here she is. Again, lovely red hair, nice cute pajamas, her scrunchy socks, big in the 90s. So we're going to see how much she on her own is worth. Midge had a low price of $5, a high price of $7.85 for an average of $6.40. So here is the first of the compacts that I found. Now these don't look as exciting on the outside. They almost look like a little makeup compact, but when you open them up, of course, oh, there's so much fun inside. Now this one is Polly's Fun Fair, and it is a little amusement park, which is very, very fun. Um, there are two cars right up here, a slide, there's a bench in case you get a little tired of going on all the rides. I'm thinking this must be kind of a refreshment stand in case you get hungry. And then of course, the main attraction is this roller coaster track. Now sadly, my roller coaster car got lost along the way, so that is not great. You can't ride the roller coaster, but this little spinning ride you can ride which is pretty fun. There you go. Fun day at the, the Polly Pocket Amusement Park. I found one sold listing for the compact only of Polly's Fun Fair, and that was for $11.99. So this Polly was inside the Polly's Fun Fair. So since I could only find a price for a compact without the roller coaster car that was compact only, I am going to look at how much Polly on her own is worth and she's still in very good shape. She still has her balloons, not a lot of paint chipping. You can see all the lovely curls in her hair. Polly had a low price of $10 a high price of $12 for an average of $11. All right, so this one you know is just going to be super exciting just because of the shape and the color. It is beautiful purple. 
it's in the shape of a star so let's open it up and see what's inside and whoa I hope that comes across on camera but look at all that glitter how exciting yes so if you are living your fairy fantasy obviously you have to have a lot of glitter there are a lot of really fun little touches in here little seesaw there's a little tree trunk seating area a waterfall how serene and a little path that goes up into the second story of this little fairy house little toadstool tea party how adorable little seating area up here and then of course we have a very nice little bedroom and a swing that is so cute now this one I did not find any of the figures which I was very disappointed about I would have loved to see a little fairy Polly but even so the compact itself is very cute and then you can't go wrong when it's nice and glittery too for only the compact I found a low price of $21.99 a high price of $29.99 for an average of $25.66. This is another very fancy looking one. You can see the, the flower pattern on the front of the compact, which is very pretty. So when I found this, I knew I was in for something special when I opened it up and I was not wrong look at how beautiful that is so here is Polly performing at the ballet and it has a lot of nice details there are some comfortable seats and a nice little box section if you're VIP and very fancy there's even a pair of opera glasses right up here there's the piano so of course the pianist can accompany Polly while she dances and this must be post performance because we see some flowers those didn't quite make it up to the stage there's some flowers on the ground right there and of course some steps leading up to where Polly look at that she can dance that is so so special and I'm gonna see if you can zoom in a little bit more so a lot of the listings I was finding were missing the tutu so I was pretty excited when I saw she seems like she's fully intact with her leotard and her tiny little tutu and of course up here if you're extra extra fancy you can get some box seats right up there by the stage you have the curtains the mirror is a very pretty set that I was excited I actually had the figure for. I found a low price of $24.85, a high price of $46 for an average of $36.97. So the last compact is this kind of salmony pink color basic big made in china sticker so inside at first i wasn't really quite sure what this was and then i looked it up especially because there are no figures or extra pieces in here that i found but the first clue is the swinging door it says vet right there so this is buttons animal hospital so it's a nice pink and green scheme you can see a little waiting area there's a little crate for your animals a toy bowl it's probably where the receptionist sits up there and then as we go up a little further I suppose that Polly the veterinarian also lives above the animal hospital maybe I'm not sure this looks like it could be a little examination room maybe where the doctor sees her patients and then as you go further up, there's a little apartment, I'm guessing, because there's a television, a little table with a vase and a couch, and then of course, a little bedroom upstairs. For only the compact, I found a low price of $6.50, a high price of $12.50, for an average of $9.50.
And I also found three figures that did not seem to have sets with them. I'm sure at one point they did, but those sets have gone missing and I was left with just these three figures. So I did a little digging and I found listings for just the individual figures and we'll see how much those are worth. This is Whitney, I believe. She has pink dress, green shoes, balloons. I could not find what set she originally went with. Uh, but I did find listings for her on her own on eBay, so I guess she's going to remain a mystery unless anybody knows where she originally went. Whitney had a low price of $9.50, a high price of $13.50, for an average of $11.50. This is Fifi from the set Fifi's Parisian Apartment, which I will post a picture of so you can see what it looks like. How fun and fancy is that? She has, look at that beautiful hat and her little suit. And of course, a little clutch purse. She is very chic, very Parisian. She is just very nice, so we'll see how much she's worth on her own since I do not have her apartment anymore. Hopefully she's found a, a very nice new place in Paris to live. For Fifi, I found a low price of $2.57, a high price of $15, and an average price of $10.70. And here is Midge, and she was originally from Polly's Pet Shop, which I'll post a picture of so you can see what it looks like. And look at those little freckles and her green dress and her pink shoes. She is very cute, and we'll see how much she's worth just on her own. For Midge, I found a low price of $5 a high price of $14.99 for an average of $10.90. So the item, after looking everything over, that it looks like is worth the most is Polly's Grand Ballet, which isn't too surprising since it's so beautiful and I had the intact Polly. And that is worth an average of $36.97 at the time of this filming. So that was definitely the most valuable Polly Pocket that I had in my collection. And the least valuable, unfortunately, were Polly's Country House and Polly's Cozy Cottage because of the sun damage and I just couldn't find any listings that were sun damaged like this, so I just kind of marked them as zero. I'm sure if the paint was still intact, they would be pretty valuable um, because they're so adorable and who wouldn't want to own these? But unfortunately, the where, where they stand now, the least valuable. And after adding up all of the average prices, the total value of my Polly Pocket collection is $196.10, which is pretty good. It was actually a little bit more than I thought it would be. So that was fun, finding out a little bit more about my old Polly Pockets, and thanks for watching, and hopefully I'll see you again soon. Bye!